let's go on to create dependencies now. So how do we create dependencies? Uh, essentially in here, select names of the task 2 and 3. Okay. So uh, there is a dependency between, of course, we can understand, right? So between, uh, unless until you gather the requirements, the analysis cannot be started. So we are selecting these two tasks, requirement gathering and requirement analysis. Then only we can make, create a dependency. So what is dependency? So how, how we go on creating? So on task tab in schedule group, as you can see, link the selected task. So you have a link over here. Yeah, there's the one. So this is a link and once you click on it, these two gets linked up and you can see that. So I'm just going back. So before it is like this. Okay. So now I select uh, task two and task three, right? Requirement gathering and requirement analysis and I'm linking them as the if I hover over there, uh, keep my cursor over there, it, it says link the selected task. So you can use control F2 as a uh, shortcut. So you can link uh, the task. So one can't start until the other has finished. You can also link task in other ways such as, right? So once I link, you can see uh, this is the way uh, your Gantt chart is showing right now. That Task 3 is dependent on task 2, right? And what kind of relationship they have? Finish to start. So we are going to see the relationships uh, between uh, so uh, between the two tasks uh, in a short file, okay? But this relationship is the task 2 finishes, then task 3 can be started. So that is the relationship between these two tasks. So once uh, you have linked the task, then I'm on the next slide, slide number 15. I have an important question to ask. So, yeah, sh go ahead, ask, she says, and he, the man project manager in uh, yesterday's uh, slides that we have seen, he asks like, what if there is some dependencies for the team member of requirement analysis? Will MSB, MSP be able to operate that? So essentially, how, how do I create those dependencies? And, and that's how uh, we have already seen this. So task two and three are linked with finish to start relationship. Uh, repeat above steps to create dependency among all the relevant tasks. So let's do that. There is another way. Uh, you can just put the number of predecessor and these all get linked. So as you can see, in your Gantt chart, essentially uh, all the requirement definition related subtasks, they are dependent on each other. So and the relationship is finished to start. So the first task finishes, then the second start, uh, task can be started. So there is no overlap shown in here, yeah? So I think that's about it for now. We repeated all the steps uh, to create the dependencies among all the relevant tasks. So there are, uh, these are the types of uh, dependencies. I am going to take a little bit into theory for you uh, right now. Uh, so these are the types of dependencies. You have finish to start, start to start, finish to finish, and start to finish. So as you can see, the finish to start, finish of the predecessor determines the start of successor. So likewise, start to start, start of the predecessor determines the start of successor. And finish to finish, finish of the predecessor determines finish of the successor and start of predecessor determines the finish of the successor. So I'm going to take you a little bit into theory uh, before we move on from here. Okay. So 
when you sequence the activities, uh, this theory is from uh, uh, PMBOK guide that we teach to our PMP students. So if you have done it, I think you then already know it. In case you don't know, uh, I'm just going to repeat it. So you have uh, first relationship finish to start. I think this we already have seen with the example, right? And uh, the finish date of the predecessor task, this we also have seen. So initial, uh, basically in here, the uh, successor depends on uh, successor starts and this depends on finish of the uh, predecessor. In here, uh, pre predecessor start predecessor start depends on start of the uh, the successor start depends on predecessor start. So that's what the dependency is. That is a start to start. The example is scrap the flicking paint of the house. Okay, so I can give you one more example. So let's say leveling the con concrete, which is successor, cannot begin until pore foundation, which is pre predecessor, begins. So that is another example, right? So you cannot begin the pri begin the priming the house unless and until you scrap the flaking paint of the house. So that's what the start to start relationship. Going to the next uh, finish to finish relationship, the finish date of the predecessor task, right, determines the finish date of the successor. So you, you cannot finish offshore infrastructure setup unless and until you finish on-site uh, KT or knowledge transfer. Another example I can give is a simple example, uh, writing a document let's say writing a document is a predecessor task, right, is required to finish before editing the document can finish. So editing document it can be here. So uh, writing document and editing document have finish to finish relationship. Uh, the last one uh, very rarely used but uh, it is a possibility. So start to finish. The start date of predecessor task. So uh, basically, you cannot uh, finish the setup of automation tools unless and until uh, testing lab a start is available. Okay, so that is the dependency. Uh, better example from real life is, uh, let's say you have a uh, in sec security guard shift, uh, you have first guard, uh, first security guard. Uh, his shift is a successor. Uh, it cannot finish. So, first guard, security, his shift cannot finish until the second security guard shift start. So, that is uh, the example. So, this is a uh, pretty rarely used, whereas finish to start is uh, very commonly used. Yeah. So, that's about it. Uh, all right. So these are the task dependencies. I'm back to our. Uh, uh, so you got the examples also. We have seen. We usually use finish to start. So let's see uh, where in actual project we get these uh, relationship. So this is where uh, you can just double click uh, this successor or predecessor, basically mainly successor. And uh, you can see uh, predecessor for this is a requirement gathering. Uh, for requirement analysis is requirement gathering. And it has uh, the four possibility. Usually we'll use uh, finish to start. So uh, to see how start to start looks, you can uh, select start to start and click OK. This is how it will look like. Yeah. So, which is not usually the case and what we do is uh, finish to start is uh, very commonly used and we use the lead, lag, those kind of things which we'll see in a moment. So here, uh, coming back, we already have seen uh, task dependencies, right? And uh, we have created a blank project as uh, uh, Ashutosh was mentioning yesterday, right? So lead task will start earlier, 
lag toss start toss start is delayed so lead is entered as negative number okay 